Hello everybody, this is Godrich. Just want to make a little video here because uh, I just uh, learned something cool and I want to share it with you. Uh, had this little discussion on IRC uh, about uh, Bash and Corn Shell or MKSH or Quiche or whatever you want to call it. But it's, um, it's Corn Shell, you know, created by David Corn. Um, but I realized I didn't really know what the differences between Bash and Corn Shell was. I have never really used Corn Shell. I just know it's a, it's a good alternative to, to Bash. And um, I think it's a default or MKSH or something is a default in, in many of the BSD uh, um, operating systems. Uh, so, I, so I did a little bit of, of searching on the internet for um, the difference between uh, Corn Shell and Bash and I found this little list here on, from some random user on Stack Overflow, David W. Uh, and I think it, I believe it sums it up um, well. Um, and what I understand, there aren't that many differences really. Um, one, one advantage that Corn Shell had for a long time over Bash was that it had these associative arrays. Uh, you know, you can, you can do an uh, array with, instead of, of just integers, you can have uh, uh, strings as the keys, you know. Th this was, uh, wasn't available in, in Bash uh, prior to version 4, if I'm not mistaken. Which uh, was released like 4 years ago now or something. But now Bash have, have this associative array, so, so that uh, difference is no longer valid. Uh, and then there were like some minor things here. But one interesting little function here uh, that Corn Shell had that Bash doesn't have by default, but it's extremely easy to create your own version of this, which I just have done and that's really what I want to share. But I also got a bit sidetracked and found another cool thing that I didn't know about Bash wh while doing this. So in Corn Shell you can you can do this syntax cd old new and that will replace uh, old with new in the current directory and cd over there. So that that means like if, if we go to a directory here for example mondo and here we can see um, yeah you know in, in an old video I showed you how how I do this to, to get an ls every time I do cd but whatever. Uh, so, so this is the contents of, of this directory, config mondo, and it have uh, some directories here, depths, generator, old, and themes here. And if I would cd into themes, we get this. And uh, in corn shell, you would be able to do this, uh, cd, and then I could write old themes, uh, so replace themes with, for example, generator. In corn shell, this would uh, work and it would replace uh, um, yeah, themes with generator and navigate to, to that directory. Uh, which is, uh, in my opinion, quite cool. Sure, you could just as well do this uh, in this case here, and this will also work. Generator. This will work, and, and, and this is even shorter to write this than, than the other way. But imagine that you wanted to change... Uh, some other directory, for example, the config directory or, or Mondo word here or, or something, you could, uh, then it becomes much uh, less uh, uh, logic, you know, to do something like, uh, just as an example here, this will not work, but let's say themes, and then you would have to go back to generator and, and so on, you know, it would be much easier to just uh, do Mondo themes or whatever. And I thought to myself, this is extremely easy to, to, to do in, in, in a bash script or a bash function. So I, I did some testing and ended up with, uh, let's see where we have it now. Uh, it should be here, a uh, 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 new fun. Yeah, I, I added it as a function in my uh, bash rc here. So I, I call this function con, so con old new. Uh, and with that, I can do this now. Con uh, generator themes and there you see it, it changed to, to the themes uh, directory uh, replacing generator with themes in the current working directory 
And that is as easy as doing this, you know. We could even even leave this variable out and, and do this. Like this. Uh, and it works fine. Um, mm, mm, mm. But I, I, I don't know why I needed to add it as a function. I, for, first I tried to do uh, uh, an external script called con and add this uh, here, but it didn't work for some reason. I don't know if it is uh, related to my CD internal function thing here. Um, but uh, the thing is, um, it, it didn't change directory. It, it, it looked like the script worked, but it never changed directory in, in the shell I was executing the script from. But this works. When you add it as a function, it will work. Um, and then the, we, I showed it to the guys on, on the IRC channel and uh, one of them told me that this line is not perfect. There is a corner case for this and, and it was kind of interesting and it, it, um, it spawned a, a very interesting find. Uh, you know, we have talked about this before. Um, here I echo the working directory where I replace uh, tilde expanded which in bash means the home folder so this this could also be written like whoops like uh, this it's the same it's the exact exact same thing uh, unquoted tilde is just a shorthand for the environment variable home and here we re replace the environment variable the content of the environment variable home with a literal tilde so so that means it will print the the directory like echo pwd it prints this but this prints oops god damn it this you know here difference here we can see the full path to the home directory here here it's replaced by a tilde uh, the corner case is that if we if we would have multiple users for example on this computer and one uh, and one user would be named uh, bud1, like, uh, like this. Then it would replace, th th then it would get messed up. Uh, it's, I created like this test script here to, to, to demo it a little bit better. Here I just create a, a temporary variable called home slash bud1. Um, yeah, we get back to this, let's do this. Yeah, let's see what we get here. CWD TST. Here you see it replaces the home directory, which is, uh, yeah, and also you have to be, this is an extreme corner case and it should almost never happen, you know, because you have to, your home directory have to be home slash bud, but for some weird reason you are inside another user's home directory, which has a prefix of its username, which is the same as the active one. It's it's a very, very, very uh, <laughs> rare corner case, but it could happen and then you would end up with something like this. It would expand it to this. I don't know, if you just um, <laughs> meditate a bit on it, it, it will become clear why it is like this. Um, and sure, it isn't really a big deal since it should almost never happen. And if it happens, it is still not a big deal. You know, I can live with this. But there is actually a really cool uh, uh, way to to um, to fix this, uh, and I didn't know about this at all. It, it's like a, um, a somewhat new addition to Bash. Um, let's see. Let's bring up the, the official documentation here. Uh, you can write things like this: parameter at operator. Let's see what they call this. I, call, I think this is. Uh, a, and the family variable expands parameter expansion. We link this page in the show notes. Um, and when you do this parameter at operator, uh, let's see now how it was. Yeah, S at P. So, so the parameter, uh, that is the variable here. So for example, uh, uh, let's create a variable or whatever. Uh, and then the operator here is one of these uppercase uh, characters here, or even a lowercase a. I, I just discovered this, so I haven't really uh, 
try this out more more than just this simple example. But you can do some some quite useful things here. Uh, instead of using like uh, printf uh, percent q and stuff, you can use this to get a, a, a quoted string that that can be used for uh, yeah whatever. But this one p. Uh, if you use p, then you can use uh, uh, the prompt controlling characters, and this is something that I've been wanting to do, especially with my custom prompt script. Uh, to use you know these magical variables backslash d backslash uh, h for the host name you know uh, this doesn't work uh, here we can do backslash h at uh, host user in in the prompt string th this would expand to host at user here but here it just prints this you know. But if we, we add this to a variable, uh, test var is equal to this. And then we can do echo test var at p. And now it will use the, the prompt format here and it should expand it. Yeah, here you can see labs at bud, host at bud. So then you can use the, these magical uh, prompt string variables. And, and these two, they print, you know, the, the home directory. So if we change test var to backslash lowercase w, and then do uh, echo test var at capital P, it will print the current working directory with the home directory uh, uh, translated to a tilde. If if we are in the home directory. If we aren't in the home directory, for example, let's go to Etsy, um, I don't know, i3, is that, does that exist, whatever, and then do echo, then it just prints the normal directory because the home directory isn't the, the first, uh, the prefix of, 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 of the, the, the directory, so to speak. Uh, and this means that we can use this lowercase uh, w instead of doing all of these uh, weird um, this thing that have this minor 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 uh, corner case uh, flaw. Uh, <laughs> we, we, by using this uh, uh, this new way of, of, of uh, using the prompt uh, uh, strings, we will not. Um, have those issues but uh, this is somewhat a new feature but it isn't really that new I, I, I tried to find it but it's it was introduced here in bash 4.4 which was released in September 2016 where this article was was written then so I guess uh, the shell was released prior uh, yeah beginning of September or something um, and that is actually three years ago now so it's you cannot say that it's uh, uh, new it's not an experimental it's in the default bash but if you are using like some weird operating system like mac os then you will not have i i don't think uh, mac comes with bash 4 even and now i think they even changed to the default shell is uh, uh, uh zsh instead zoomers shell you know um but I guess they have bash installed also, maybe, I don't know, I don't know why I'm talking about this because I have no ID, but yeah, you need bash 4.4. So, so the scripts will not be, if you use this extensively in, in your scripts, they are not backwards compatible, so to speak, on, on older versions of bash. So that's something to uh, keep in mind, but uh, at the same time, th this particular function is something that uh, isn't that important that it is uh, backward compatible and portable, in my opinion. It's something that you use, um, you probably use most in, in, in your own script, like your own prompt, or, or this example, for, for instance, you know, when I want to print the directory name, but whatever, it's worth to keep in mind. And I, I also think it's really cool. And I, I, I don't know. I, I will. I don't know the, the um, use cases really for the other. It is kind of weird. I don't even know what this does. You know, the expansion is a string consisting of flag values representing parameters attributes. I don't really know what that means, but I might find out someday. 
whatever. I just wanted to share this with you. And that also means here that instead of doing this, we could, um, we could do this, I guess. CWD is equal to backslash lowercase w echo CWD at P. I'm not sure. I, I think we need to, to do this also. Uh, create a variable here. Maybe it would be possible to do this. I don't know. I don't know if that works. Yeah, let's try it here. No, no, that's a, a bad substitution. Let's just do this. And then we should do local CWD. Okay, so now if I I think I have to reload my shell here, but if I navigate to different directory, yeah, it still works. It uses this this method instead. Um, and this little thing, I don't think that that affects uh, performance or anything at all. It's nothing to worry about. Here, here you can see it took six milliseconds to, to do this. It's like... You can, can't even measure this, you know. Uh, let's try with the old method, see if we can see any difference. Reload the shell. No, it's it, it, it's the same. So, so it, it, of course, th this is such a small uh, uh, thing that it shouldn't affect the, the performance of your scripts at all. It actually makes them more secure when you want to do this because then it it will will um, take those corner cases uh, or keep them in mind, so to speak. Which means that if we would be in a directory that was called home bud one here now it would expand to home bud one it would it should it will not change home bud one to a tilde it will expand to the full directory because that isn't the home directory whatever i just wanted to share that with you um the the guy who who helped me or or who knew about this on irc he he wished to remain or she i don't know uh wished to remain um anonymous and I don't really want to say which IRC channel it was. Um, on, an, on another note, I'm still working on this stupid web page and stuff. And I also got a like a normal uh, wage cut job, you know. So uh, I haven't had that much time to do videos lately, and just have haven't been in in that. Uh, mode so to speak but it's it, it's it's fine I, we'll see we'll see what happens with the bud labs uh, stuff here but I, I don't know whatever here's some old screenshots of my windows to 2014 i didn't know anything about bash or linux or anything this is what my desktop looked like back then this is windows you know this is the best file manager ever created nexus file this is my own program that i wrote in in Auto hotkey, which is a wallpaper selector. This is Fubar 2000 with my uh, extremely uh, riced uh, custom configuration. This is uh, a default auto hotkey program called uh, Windows Spy, which is kind of interesting here, you know, because here you can see Windows applications, they also have uh, instance name and class names. So this is the class name Rainlander Window, which is probably this Rainlander window here. And this is the instance name here. Um, or this is probably the, the window title. Yeah, maybe that's how it is. Uh, there is no instance name, but there is a, a, a class class name. Maybe there was an instance name also, I don't remember, but very, very similar to how uh, uh, Xorg works as well. And have been working for for a long time, but um, Wayland they think this is uh, bloat, so you don't get any class names or instance names or anything, which means that all my dirt hacking stuff just doesn't work on on 
Wayland, which is why I don't use it. Otherwise, I would because I think Wayland. Other than that, it 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 just looks um, great. Whatever. Thank you for watching, everybody. Have a great day, and I see you when I see you. Bye, bye, bye.